And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon Kiso VLAC Network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. If at any time during this net, should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLOG net is all about, trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the loudest, fullest sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern-day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. So it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSO VLOG net with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today we're currently featuring over 1,600 QSO VLOG air check recordings. Our mission statement for the network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running four internet SDR receivers, monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these four SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also in this selector is our local receiver audio. And today, our local receiver is running two large 10 foot vertical magnetic loop antennas, one aimed north and south, the other east and west. The north and south mag loop can be rotated. They are selected by a three position rotary selector. Position three of the selector is a co-phase option that many times is three to four dB hotter than mag loop one or two by themselves. Also today on the transmit side, we'll be running our no SWR specially oriented dipole antenna. One leg of this dipole is broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg is broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today, we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO VLOG video. And as we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all of our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA 5 to be understood by all. And as we pray for good 
radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you will protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history, with dark clouds all around, we pray that you will reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. To continue, since this is an area of the band where we have many nets trying to operate in a very confined area, I would appreciate all stations checking into our QSO VLOG net to keep their band pass to no wider than 100 to 2900. Again, please, no wider than 100 to 2900. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. And now, let's check in and see if Charlie, K1GZL, is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40-meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Yes, Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Yes, Jim, I certainly do. You're running a S9 or a little over. Uh, direct, direct. So we are copying you fine. I uh, hope you're, <laughs> you're hearing me. I've got uh, uh, a, a little bit of a recording from Captain Mike made yesterday on the 15th as he flew from Sacramento, California to uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, uh, go ahead. Yes, sir, Charlie. Sounds good. good roll tape. Yes, sir, Charlie. Sounds good. good roll tape. Okay, and here is Captain Mike. Right now, uh, some Moline or at Davenport, I can see the uh, the mighty uh, Mississippi River below us. We're at uh, 37, uh, doing uh, 480 knots right now, 484 knots, and we're 768 uh, miles from uh, Philadelphia. Temp up here is minus 52. Anyone want to use it okay at cool and stuff? Is amazing, and we're right over the river at the moment. But uh, yeah, great copy on both of you there. Uh, back to you there, Charlie. We're in Illinois now, and uh, just unbelievable how clear it is today as opposed to the last uh, few months coming around here. But uh, I want to step out of here for a little while. Uh, maybe a big, uh, I think we were talking about 1220 there. Uh, you say you want to try uh, 40 meters, uh, Charlie, or, or back, on, uh, back on 20 there? Go ahead. Uh, we went to 40. Charlie, we're, uh, we're just showing about 40 miles uh, to the uh, east of uh, Moline here at uh, 37, with uh, 700 miles still to go into Philly uh, here, and uh, we're showing about uh, 480, uh, eight, 480 knots across the ground. So good copy on uh, both uh, you and uh, Jim there. Uh, K1G from KX4 with Charlie, and we'll be uh, looking for you there at uh, 1220 there on 40. Uh, back to you there, Charlie. Now 40 meters. Yeah, for Whiskey, Charlie. Uh, Charlie, we're about uh, 45 miles uh, east of Fort Wayne, Indiana at uh, 370. On uh, 480 knots here with uh, about 445 miles to go to Philly. And uh, great copy on you there on the 7.152 upper sideband. Uh, K1 G's at L from KX4 Whiskey, Charlie. Up here is minus 53, had to change the bit. Uh, but uh, I forgot about the line noise, that you don't get that on uh, 40, so. Okay, you're going to hear them on the car, uh, Mike. Uh, on uh, 40 meters up for sideband, 7.152, and uh, you are 5 9 plus here, Charlie. A1 G's at Alpha, AX4, Whiskey Charlie. Get off here now. It's uh, been uh, nice working here today, and uh, look forward to uh, hearing you there tomorrow at, uh, at uh, 6 30 here. Uh, He's on, on the tarmac here. Uh, after 8 o'clock there on, uh, on 40 here, and uh, hopefully hear the rest of the gang there. So you have a good day, and we'll be uh, talking with you later on. Uh, K1G's it up from KX4 Whiskey Charlie. We are clear. Heading right now. Uh, that, that, facing that direction there, Owen. Got him. Good stuff, Charlie. Uh, right there, he was uh, sitting on the ground on the tarmac in Philadelphia, uh, and this was, that part was on 40 uh, meters, Jim, 
KC9 VKV, K1 G's and L, and uh, I'll be working Captain Mike uh, this evening as he heads west, and that will be on 20 meters. Roger, Charlie. Well, I, I didn't hear the uh, the normal uh, impulse noise uh, on uh, 20, uh, Roger, Roger. Normal uh, impulse noise uh, on the 20, uh, Roger. Well, it's very interesting, very interesting. It, it was somewhat uh, subdued. It was there, but weak. Uh, you won't believe this. You won't believe this. But uh, I made a phone call uh, about four days ago, four days ago to the... Uh, 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 to the electrical uh, 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 people, Eversource, Eversource, that, uh, of course, takes care of the whole state of New Hampshire. And uh, uh, and uh, I finally got through to them, and then I talked to this lady, I talked to this lady about the uh, interference, and, uh, uh, and it turned out to be uh, that the, most of the whole crew was up in this direction, and 45 minutes after I talked to her, two uh, Eversource uh, uh, trucks arrived. They actually arrived, and uh, we were discussing this whole uh, situation, and uh, they uh, told me that uh, a, a fellow with uh, maybe it's a spectrum analyzer was on the way up and should be arriving at my location in 15 or 20 minutes, and uh, we'll see what uh, he can see what he can do. Sure enough, he arrives. He arrives, comes in with this uh, meter. First, I show him what the horrible noise sounded like. It was just horrible. And uh, I, I switched antennas on my coaxial switch, and it got weaker as I pointed uh, dead south on my uh, other 20-meter antenna, uh, which favors uh, down uh, just west of Puerto Rico. So he, uh, he says, well, why don't you uh, let me uh, put your, your antenna uh, which is getting the worst interference, and we'll put it on this analyzer and see what we see. So we put it on, uh, he put it on the analyzer, and he says, ah, this is good, uh, can, I've got a good reading here, uh, uh, and he appreciated that. He says, most places you go to, uh, they have to hunt around, but uh, 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 he came back uh, about 45 minutes later, and says, well, we found the problem. We found the problem. Uh, there is a pole right down near the road here, about a thousand. That's uh, about a thousand feet south. I mean, it's a little leakage. However, the main two, two more poles, uh, are up right in the woods, right where we figured they were, uh, right up in the woods. One was uh, much worse than the other, and uh, they're going to be switching over to. Uh, uh, Pal uh, uh, I guess it's Palomar uh, insulators, and it's going to take a week uh, and a half or uh, two weeks before they can get up here again. But they have spotted the problem. They're going to take, try to take care of it, and uh, they have to get permission from somebody uh, in the meantime. So that'll bring you up to date, and it looks like we're going to get rid of this noise. Uh, it was there yesterday, but it wasn't as bad as sometimes. Uh, uh, but normally, when it's dry, which it was uh, yesterday, uh, uh, it just uh, it, it's horrible. Uh, <laughs> KC9 VKB, sorry about a long one here. K1 G's and I'll bring you up to date. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, uh, congratulations on uh, getting uh, assistance from the local power company to check out the uh, RFI, and hopefully they'll have that remedied uh, in the next uh, week or so, and uh, your uh, 20 meters will be uh, clean as a whistle. We're all, all praying for that. Uh, 73 of that way, Charlie. Uh, thanks for joining us, Roger. Thank you for that. Uh, 73 of that way, Charlie. Uh, thanks for joining us, Roger. Okay, well, it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Uh, uh, there, uh, uh, Mike and Will Cat. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Jim. Uh, I've talked to so many mics lately. It's uh, and I'm on a mic. Uh, okay, we'll try to catch you next uh, Friday. Next Friday. This has been excellent. Okay, and uh, your YouTube is uh, just beautiful the way it comes through. Uh, but I have to see it uh, over at my friend Bob's. As, uh, as you know, I do not have a computer. KC9 VKV K1 GZL. Thank you so so much. Roger, Roger, Charlie, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon. Beautiful weekend. 
Just a reminder, this is the Friday afternoon Kiss of Vlog Net. My name is Jim, KC9VKV, and I'm better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. We're recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call and a search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 5 21 and that will take you directly to this recording. If you want to go to our QSO Vlog page, where we now have uh, over 1,600 uh, QSO Vlog recordings on that page, just do a simple call in a search, KC9VKV, without the date, and that will take you to our QSO Vlog page. This is the Friday Afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Lima, Lima, Charlie. Lima, Lima, Charlie Station, come back slowly, phonetically with the full call. Lima, Lima, Charlie Station, come back slowly, phonetically with the full call. Kilo 2, Lima, Lima, Charlie. Kilo 2, Lima, Lima, Charlie, what's the name? Kilo 2, Lima, Lima, Charlie, what's the name? Uh, good afternoon, Jim. The name is Linwood, Lima, Indian number, Whiskey, Oscar, Oscar Delta, and we chatted last Friday afternoon. Go ahead. Hi, yes, sir. Uh, Linwood, and I'm copying you on the Muford SDR. Uh, the uh, internet is uh, glitching, <laughs> so uh, I'm missing a few words from time to time, but nothing critical uh, so far. Uh, what radio are you running, Linwood? Nothing critical uh, so far. Uh, what radio are you running, Linwood? Uh, this afternoon, I'm on an ICOM uh, 7410, but I'm accessing it via remote ham, and I'm using a Shure MD7 microphone and have an 80-meter Wyndham antenna. Go ahead, Jim. Roger, what clean this attack. I had no indication that you were remoting it was that uh, clean, Roger. Indication that you were remoting it was that uh, clean, Roger. I'm sorry, Jim. I lost you altogether in that the noise level has dropped up here uh, tremendously. Let me try and uh, catch you later on this afternoon. Thank you so much, Jim. k 2 ll Roger Linwood. Okay, just uh, mentioning that your operation was so clean that uh, I could not detect that you were remoting until you said it. So I would, uh, I would get the uh, gorilla tape out, tape everything down. For that remote operation, because it's just perfect. Uh, do you copy? For that remote operation, because it's just perfect. Uh, do you copy? Uh, yes, I did copy that, Jim. Thank you so much. And uh, I love, maybe when our band condition is a little bit better, I have a lot of noise on 40 for some reason. Oh, good while. So, uh, but. Uh, that was some good encouragement. I did make some changes to the uh, setup here from last Friday, so uh, thanks again. Hope you have a great weekend, Jim. K uh, K two LLC, seventy three blue sky. Roger, Roger, Linwood seventy three, sir. Have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And uh, something tells me that the conditions today are not going to be outstanding. <laughs> we will uh, uh, try our best to do what we can with the prevailing situation, but. I don't think the propagation is going to be good today. We shall see. This is a KC9 VKV. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. KV, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. This is a Quebec kilowatt station. Come back slowly, phonetically, with your call sign. Slowly, phonetically, with your call sign. Delta Japan Delta Kilowatt. Was that uh, Japan Delta Kilowatt? Uh, Japan Delta Kilowatt. Japan Quebec Kilowatt. Kilowatt Delta Two. Japan Quebec Kilowatt. Japan Quebec Kilowatt. Uh, Roger, Roger. What's the name there? What? Uh, Roger, Roger. What's the name there? Well, my name is Stephen Sierra Tango Echo Victor Echo November. And I'm located in northwest New Jersey, uh, setting up a uh, radio in my new Ford, Ford van, 
Uh, and uh, just curious if it's working. Over. Roger, Stephen, uh, what uh, radio are you uh, setting up? Radio are you uh, setting up? Okay, so it's the gauge is 891, and I just um, just acquired the separation uh, kit for it, and I'm setting up uh, the head and uh, some of the parts, and the, um, the power unit is going to be uh, uh, in between the seats. And I'm setting it up with a 20-meter um, uh, jam stick, jam stick with a special, a special mount that a friend of mine made up that goes into the receiver of a trailer hook. Why well, get all up and running tomorrow? We're going to a hand test. I haven't been, uh, we haven't had any here in New Jersey in two years. But tomorrow is a split rock hand test. He's stuck in the past two years, isn't it? Roger, Roger, Stephen. Well, I'm copying you mostly on my uh, Georgia SDR, copying you uh, best on my Georgia SDR. Uh, if you're interested, we'll start the setup procedure for that radio. Uh, you may have to, uh, depending, you know, mobile units are, are uh, interesting from the standpoint of you do have some ambient noise. So uh, with that uh, as a consideration, I would suggest that you normally we start our um, setup procedure with the uh, compressor on at a, a 3. Normally we start our setup procedure with a compressor on at 3. But uh, since this is a mobile operation, I suggest that we bypass the compressor because uh, your ambient noise uh, may be in too much to uh, uh, handle with that uh, compressor on. So we'll buy, we keep the compressor off as long as that's a mobile unit and we will move to the ALC with mic gain in hand. And as you, uh, you speak relatively rapidly, 100, 200, 300, I want you to uh, manipulate your mic gain control until your ALC is reading mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. Roger Stephen, sounds like you might have hit your uh, BFO. Sounds like you might have hit your uh, your frequency control. To double check, we're on um, uh, 7188. 7188. Roger, Roger. 7188. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and also, I would suggest that uh, is that a three band EQ? Does that radio have a three band EQ? Do you know? Do you have a three band EQ? Do you know? I'm not talking to you very well. Does it have what? A three band EQ. Um, treble, mid range, and bass EQ. Uh, uh, no, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. Well, you know, uh, what kind of uh, equalization does it have, sir? Okay, sir. So, uh, when you uh, figure out uh, how things work and where they are, uh, you need to crank in a little more top end EQ uh, for definition, a little more troubled EQ for definition and articulation. I would say plus three boost treble EQ from wherever you are. Plus three treble EQ boost from wherever you are after you figure out how to get there. Roger? Roger, Roger, Stephen. Okay, uh, you know, make sure that the SWR is, um, you know, within tolerance there, and you should be able to adjust that antenna to where you do not have to use your, uh, 
your antenna tuner normally. Uh, that's what you want to, to adjust that antenna um, where you do not have to use your uh, antenna tuner uh, normally. That will give you the best, uh, uh, highest efficiency radiation. Roger. The QTH here is uh, near uh, Louisville, Kentucky. We're just across the Ohio River from Louisville on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville. Roger, Roger, Steve, and you might also look up where uh, lock is. Uh, you're off frequency again. So I would find out, uh, I'm sure that radio has a lock, and I would uh, use it when I'm engaged in a conversation uh, so I don't uh, arbitrarily happen to hit the uh, freak uh, BFO and then get, get lost. So I would uh, find out where lock is, and I would use it when I'm... Uh, uh, speaking to somebody over a period of time. 73, uh, Stephen, and we'll catch you later. Uh, join us next Friday if you get a chance. If you want to hear the recording now, go to uh, YouTube uh, in the next couple of days and uh, do a call it a search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 51421. We'll take you uh, directly to this recording. 73, Stephen, catch you later. This is KC9VKV. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Copying somebody on my uh, Georgia SDR, but very, very weak. Let me see if I can bring up uh, Milford and uh, uh, see what goes on there. This will just take a minute. <laughs> he says, jokingly. Um, let's just see. Uh, encouraging. Okay, I think we're just about there. All right, station, uh, try again. Uh, we're copying on Milford now. This is KC9VKV. Go ahead, station. Station with the golf in it. Uh, come back slowly, phonetically, with your call sign, please. Yankee Zulu Golf, Roger, and what's the name? Zulu Golf, Roger, and what's the name? Name is Ryan, Romeo Yankee Alpha November. Roger, Roger, Ryan, and uh, what uh, radio are you running, sir? I am running my ICOM 7200 on a inverted V using 5 watts QRP. Uh, your 5 watts uh, total output right now? 5 watts uh, total output right now. Roger, roger. My, my, what's your location, Ryan? My, my, what's your location? Eastern Pennsylvania, just outside of Scranton. Well, uh, Ryan, you're the uh, stoutest station I've uh, contacted so far this afternoon. <laughs> so, uh, 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 congratulations on having a fairly efficient antenna system, Roger. Efficient antenna system, Roger. Thank you, thank you. You are plus 10 here, plus 10. Roger, Roger, Ryan. Well, there's a reason for that. Uh, we won't go into that, but uh, needless to say, your, your 5 watts... Uh, uh, QRP is just outstanding, Roger. Yes, it's just outstanding, Roger. Thanks for the report. The propagation gods are in our favor today.
Roger, your dynamic range looks to be about 3 dB, which is exactly where we would like for you to be. Uh, EQ could be just a little sharper. If you have any EQ controls, I would uh, put it uh, maybe two clicks additional uh, treble EQ just to get some uh, articulation going on that mic just a little bit more. Roger? Just a little bit more. Roger? All right. Thank you for the report. What was your name? My name is Jim, Juliet India Mike. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. And we're located uh, just across the Ohio River from Louisville, Kentucky. We're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River. Roger. The side of the Ohio River, Roger. All right, Jim. Thanks for the contact. Have fun out there. Take care. Kilo Kilo 4, Yankees Zulu Golf, out. Roger. And you are 8 dB above my noise level. You are 8 dB above my noise level, which is... Uh, uh, a really good signal because uh, today I don't think is a very good uh, propagation day. So you're doing just beautiful, Roger. Roger, Roger. Actually, that was um, about 8 dB over the um, Atlanta, Georgia SDR. That's that's the uh, station that we were using to uh, copy the mail on you. Uh, so uh, you were 8 dB above the noise level on the Atlanta. Georgia SDR. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSOV like net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Station, uh, Kilo 5 station, uh, come back slowly, phonetically with your call, please. K5 AIE uh, Arkansas Roger Roger what's the name there uh, Roger Roger what's the name there Thank you Mike and the rig is an antique of the A3 F3 747 CX and the antenna is not optimal uh, Mike uh, you, uh, try that uh, one more time on the radio a little slower please sir and uh, one more time Okay, copy the radio as an FT-747, not a Roger. FT-747, not a Roger. That's a Roger. Sir, uh, there's another person that's trying to tune up on the frequency. It's not polite to tune up on an active frequency, and this is uh, an active frequency, so the frequency is in use. Please do not tune up on an active frequency. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. My name is Jim. And uh, we've got uh, Mike I'm down in uh, Arkansas on the uh, channel. And uh, uh, what uh, is your antenna system there, Mike? What's your antenna system there? I have a 8-meter dipole, but it's not really high enough off the ground. I need to uh, uh, get it up another Roger, Roger, Mike, I am copying you only on the uh, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia SDR. I do not have a copy on my local antenna or uh, in either one of the three other uh, SDRs. So, uh, gosh, uh, I think I can uh, get you through. If you were interested in the uh, setup procedure... Roger, does it have a compressor? Roger, does it have a compressor? Uh, negative, the uh, FT 747 GX is a very basic transceiver. Uh, only the uh, microphone and drive and magnetic yeah. uh, Roger, uh, you have uh, mic level control and do you have an ALC meter?
Okay, uh, what kind of uh, setup procedure do you have to detect uh, proper mic level? Do you have a light or something like that? Roger. Well, check your uh, check your book uh, on that radio, and uh, if you do have an ALC indicator, what we want to do is um, uh, go to bring up your ALC and then speak rather rapidly, 100, 200, 300, and uh, with uh, one hand on your mic gain control, or manipulate the mic gain control until the ALC meter is reading mid-scale to two-thirds. Mid-scale to two-thirds on the ALC meter by way of mic gain manipulation. Roger. Mic gain manipulation, Roger. Uh, Roger, I can't turn up the mic gain, which I will do right now. I just turned it up about two clicks. I don't know if that helps. Uh, well, I just saw your audio there, and uh, you're looking pretty good. What we're looking for is about 3 dB dynamic range, and you seem to be that uh, right at the moment. Uh, why don't you give me 10 seconds and tell me about the thing you like best about your radio. You like best about your radio? Uh, mainly, I like it because the guy is very cute about it. Roger, Mike. Well, <laughs> I was copying you uh, on the uh, Georgia SDR, and uh, we just lost that. Uh, let me uh, bring that back and uh, see what uh, what goes on there. Yeah, be just a moment. Uh, we should be coming back up uh, now. All right, and uh, but you still got a copy there, Mike? All right, and uh, but you still got a copy there, Mike? Roger, Roger. So I guess if you have taken notes there, you've got the ALC information, you've got the compressor if you have one, if you don't, uh, fine. And uh, the other, uh, only other uh, thing would be to uh, a little more articulation on your audio, maybe a couple of clicks, treble boost from where you are, if you have an equalizer. Uh, all that would be told in the book. Uh, so if you do have an equalizer, we want to go uh, a couple of clicks more, treble EQ. Roger, from where you are. Roger, from where you are. Uh, Roger, this is uh, radio the 7, the FC 747. It has a uh, fine control knob, the tuning knob, uh, the mic and drive, and the uh, uh, audio and stuff. That's all it has, period. Roger, Roger. You do not have a uh, menu. You do not have any menu at all. Menu at all. Uh, that's a Roger. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, uh, between mic gain and uh, uh, setting up your ALC, uh, uh, you should have some way to reference your uh, your modulation. Uh, I'm sure you do. Uh, do you, Do you have the book on that radio? Roger. Well, this has to do with uh, setting up your audio, um, you know, so you're not over-modulating and stuff like that. So look in your book and see what it says about uh, uh, setting up your ALC or setting up your modulation, and if it refers to an ALC indicator or some kind of indicator, a light, or, or something uh, as far as uh, the procedure for setting up your, um, your radio. So, uh, Mike, I'll say 73 for right now. You're doing pretty good, uh, buddy, for uh, the conditions that are prevailing uh, for today. Roger. For today, Roger. Uh, Roger, your 
my second contact as since I've gotten my ham license uh, this week. So uh, appreciate the TFL and the feedback on the radio. I'll take 73 Jim and uh, I'll probably catch you down the log. A5 AIE, I'll be clear. Roger, Roger, Mike. Uh, 73 that way, sir. And uh, if you get a chance, uh, uh, join us next Friday if you want to hear your audio. If you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 5-14-21, that will take you directly uh, to this recording. If you would just want to check out other people's uh, uh, conversations, we have uh, uh, s- over 1,600 uh, recorded uh, QSOV logs on our QSOV log page. You get to that page by going to YouTube, YouTube and just doing a call at a search or KC9VKV. And as far as today's recording, if you give us a couple of days to get it uploaded, uh, we'd appreciate it. So 73 there, Mike, and then we'll catch you later. This is uh, KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSOV log net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Whiskey 5, Charlie, Charlie, Tango. Whiskey 5, Charlie, Charlie, Tango. Roger, Roger. What's the name there? Charlie, Charlie, Tango. Roger, Roger. What's the name there? Roger. Tom here in Louisiana. A 746 Pro. Uh, 100 watts on an inverted B. Over. Roger, Roger, Tom. You got it all going in the right direction, sir. I'm copying you... Um, about uh, 8 uh, dB over the uh, Georgia SDR noise level. Roger, Roger. Noise level, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Is that uh, Matthew's uh, remote that you're using? I'm not sure, sir. It's the Atlanta uh, SDR. That's, uh, uh, let's see here. Um, it's, um, gosh. <laughs> It's just, uh, I'm, I'm not real sure, so it's not identified further than that uh, that I can see at the moment. Just uh, identified as Atlanta, uh, Georgia, SDR. Roger? Okay, Roger, Roger. Well, I just wanted to wave a hand. I don't have the amplifier in line, so. Uh, 2KD Classic, but uh, it's not in line at the moment. But hey, thanks for the comeback, and I uh, appreciate it. W5CCT, Tom in Louisiana. Roger, Tom. Now, why in the world, when we're doing recordings, would you not have your power amp on? I mean, my mama taught me to put the best foot forward, sir. I'm trying to get the best recording I can. I'm going to a great deal of effort to align everything for just perfect recordings as true to to your signal as possible. Uh, just, in, but if you've got a little power amp there that could uh, knock uh, a couple of dB or 10 dB or 20 dB off my noise level, you know, it would be everly so much appreciated, Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Well, hey, I will see what I can do with that, and we'll get that one. We'll we'll get the line, we'll get that noise down for you, okay? All right, sir. Now I am holding my breath because uh, I'm, I'm I'm serious about this. Uh, you know, we're, we've got our RF uh, uh, receive level way down to where it's uh, you know our AGC uh, receive AGC is uh, not functioning to be sucking up garbage between words, and uh, so we just have a nice quiet platform there for uh, you to. Uh, uh, come, come ahead and uh, uh, ex- excite the world, Roger, Roger. Hey, Roger, Roger. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, hey, good luck and uh, the very best to you. I think you said you are up in uh, what uh, northern Kentucky or somewhere on the Ohio River, anyway. But I uh, take care and the very best to you, uh, Whiskey Five Charlie Charlie Tango. Good day. Well, don't rush off, man. You got a great signal. Don't rush off. I'm I'm recording, sir, and I want you to uh, be able to uh, go to YouTube and hear your beautiful transmission, Roger. Transmission, Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Well, I thank you for that, and uh, hey, I can take a look at it. Uh, when you get it up, and we'll see what the old uh, 746 Pro sounds like. Uh, let's see, uh, antenna-wise, 
As I said, this one, uh, them priorities say, uh, of course, this uh, new, uh, double bazooka is what it is for 40 meters. My best antenna, which is on the ground right now, is a full weight 160 loop at about 40 feet. Uh, so I've got to work to get it back up. Uh, I'm in the process, trimmed out some limbs and trees so I can get the line back up when I do choose to pull it up. See if I can find a way to get it about 40 or 50 feet up on the side of that pine tree. So uh, that is my next project, and I think I've got to cut down about a 10 or 12 inch uh, a cherry tree and able to do all that, uh, to uh, enable uh, pulling the wire up. So, hey, that's it for this QTH. Thanks for the reporting. Whiskey Five, Charlie, Charlie Tango, Tom, and Louisiana. Roger, Roger, Tom. Well, you know, uh, you don't really have to have that uh, that loop up there, that uh, horizontal loop up 50 feet. If you can get it up 30 feet, it's uh, darn near just as good. If you can hit 30 feet on that uh, that loop, uh, you'll be just as good as 50. Yeah, you could have two antennas, one 50, one, one at uh, 30, and you could AB, and uh, nobody could tell, uh, you know, the difference. Uh, so, gosh, if you can get it up 30, uh, go ahead. And I'm just curious, what brought that loop down? Was it a squirrel? What that loop down? Was it a squirrel? Oh, no. Uh, we had a high wind come in about two weeks ago. And I had a very tall, tall uh, red oak tree, real slender, uh, going up beside it. Uh, had a lot of foliage on it, of course, this time of year. And the wind took it down and across my loop and wadded it all up on the ground. It, I've got uh, number 12 insulated wire that it snapped it in two. And the reason I'm going to have to go to 40 feet or so on that pine tree is because that'll be to the first limb, and that's what I'll have to do, over. I got you there. Now, with that radio, that uh, wire that uh, broke, was that solid or stranded? Broke. Was that solid or stranded? Uh, stranded. All right. Well, that's, that's the way to go, you know. Stranded is uh, a lot... Uh, uh, more substantial than a solid wire as far as uh, uh, give and take before break. And I always use uh, stranded uh, uh, elements uh, just because of that reason. And the other thing is uh, sometimes you might want to load one end or the other end. In other words, instead of uh, having hard ends, you might put uh, a bucket with some weight in it uh, to uh, to load that antenna so it'll give it some uh, give and take as those leaves, uh, those limbs move about, right here? Hey Roger, I have it pretty well floating. Uh, <coughs> I threw my, <coughs> excuse me, threw my insulator so it floats and I put a, uh, not a weight, I don't have got a weight on the end of a bazooka, but my loop I do not have weighted because I have it on six trees. And if you get between any two of those trees on a 535-foot loop, if you get uh, 100, 200, 300 pounds on it falling, it's going to snap it no matter what you've got tied to it. So uh, it can't get through the insulators fast enough to take the stress off of it. I've lost it uh, three times to ice storms. A big uh, ice-laden limb, pine limb falling across it and we're pulling it into... And I've been able to get it up really quick up until this time, but uh, this time, like I say, it was going through some small timber, and I'm having a tough time uh, getting it cleared out enough in order to pull the wire back up further. So uh, if I could get it up to that first limb on the pine tree that I'm off of, then I'll, I'll be able to get the loop right on back up and going again. Roger, Roger, Tom. Well, you know, like I say, if if you happen to go to Home Depot, uh, go down there and get a get one of their buckets, uh, you know, and uh, then put uh, three holes in it, and then get you uh, two or three bricks, uh, and uh, use that as a counterweight on one end. You know, you're probably running about uh, oh 25, 35 uh, pounds. Uh, 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 just uh, spring. It's kind of like spring loaded, but it's uh, you know it's the bucket that does the thing there, <laughs> and that'll keep it uh, taut, and it'll also let it uh, uh, you know expand when uh, some of those uh, limbs move counter to each other. Roger. Roger. 
if that is true, if that that will uh, it would help some if I could do that. But uh, like I say, it flows pretty good, and unless I get something down across it, uh, I've had no trouble with it. I've had it up for ten years, and like I say, I lost it twice in uh, ice storms and that's all. But uh, I guess it. I guess I've uh, been fortunate that I don't have much ice down here in Louisiana. Because uh, if I think, oh, it survived two hurricanes over. Oh, Roger, yeah, when you have snow in Louisiana, <laughs> you have some unusual conditions. But Tom, um, uh, let me say 73, sir, and I wish you luck on getting that uh, loop back up, and uh, and I hope it uh, stays up for another uh, 10 years or, or more. Uh, good uh, talking to you, sir. And again, if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and you call it a search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 5-14-21, that will take you to our QSO vlog. Well, that will actually take you to this recording. Today's uh, KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 5-14-21, will take you to uh, this recording directly. Uh, so, 73, Tom, and uh, thanks for checking in, buddy. And your radio uh, sounds beautiful. I'm copying you mostly on the uh, Georgia SDR. You're about uh, 70 B above uh, their noise level. Uh, 73, this is KC9 VKV, the uh, Friday afternoon QSO VLOC net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. This is KC9VKV, Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. And uh, again, my uh, uh, Milford SDR is down, so i got to try to bring that back up. Uh, come on there. There we go. And uh, it's on frequency. Yay. And we've got that back up. This is KC9VKV. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Give me a shout. Whiskey Delta 4, Charlie, Quebec. Whiskey Delta 4 station, come back slowly, phonetically with a call sign. Come back slowly, phonetically with a call sign. Whiskey Delta 4, Charlie, Quebec. Whiskey Delta 4, Charlie, Quebec. Over. Roger, Charlie, Quebec, and uh, what's the name there? Charlie, Quebec, and uh, what's the name there? Name is Danny. Name is Danny. And we just put up an antenna. I was just wanting to see how it's doing. Uh, looking pretty good. Uh, Danny, are you running 100 watts and what radio? Danny, are you running 100 watts and what radio? Yeah, we just put up a new in-fed antenna. I was wondering how it's doing. Over. Uh, well, gosh, uh, you're uh, about uh, 8 dB over the noise level in uh, Milford, uh, PA. I'm using that SDR. If you would give me uh, a little bit more information about that antenna, uh, like about 10 seconds or so, I can look around and uh, see if I can find a better path for us. Around and uh, see if I can find a better path for us. Roger. And seeing how it's doing, over. I'm copying you just a little bit on my local antenna, but much better on the uh, Milford to PA SDR. So, uh, what's your location? Yeah, SDR. So, uh, what's your location? Earth to Danny, what's your location, sir? Earth to Danny, what's your location, sir? Apparently, uh, Danny's been uh, stolen by gypsies or something. Danny, uh, WD4 is CQ, Casey and VKV, you have a copy? Roger, sorry, had a phone call. Everything came in at one time. We're back to you. We're running an in fed antenna at about uh, 65 feet in the air. and. Uh, at a sloper position with an ICOM 7300. We're located in New Bern, North Carolina. My name is Danny. You're my first contact since I've got the LMR 400 coax buried. We have about 250 foot of coax. And uh, what are you doing to you, over? Uh, doing about, I don't have a good copy on my local antenna. But I am using the uh, Milford uh, PASDR. And uh, like I say, you're eight over... Uh, 
their eight uh, clicks over their noise level, it's eight dB above their noise level. So you're doing really well there. And that uh, 7300 is uh, sounding r really good. Uh, we have a setup procedure for that radio, if you might be interested. It uh, starts with the uh, compressor engaged at a 3. It's a token amount, but uh, it does uh, precisely what we need it to do. Roger. But, uh, it does uh, precisely what we need it to do. Roger. Roger. Yeah, I've been copying the mail. Just uh, heard you or a loud station. And I know the conditions are not at optimal at the moment, but I just wanted to see how the old rig is doing now that we've got the uh, main coax underground, the LMR 400, 200 feet are buried, and then a 50-foot section comes into the shack. And uh, we've got the uh, my antennas uh, 7510 in-fed at a sloper position, and uh, it's doing real good here on the 40 meters. The SWR is really well. And I uh, just wanted to get a good quick signal report and see how she was doing from the east coast of North Carolina over. Oh, sounding beautiful. Sounding beautiful. And if you want to hear that radio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date 51421, it will take you uh, directly uh, to this recording. Yeah, give us a couple of days to, uh, to uh, get it uploaded. And again, your antenna is doing uh, very well, Sir Roger. I get it uploaded. And again, your antenna is doing uh, very well, Sir Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, thank you very much. And I appreciate the quick contact. Well, we don't want to keep you. I know there are other stations that want to call. Thank you for the quick radio test. WD4CQ, clear after you. Roger, Danny, and uh, just a tip on that microphone. Uh, I would pull it, uh, th I'm assuming that's the, uh, the hand mic, uh, supplied hand mic. I would pull it to the corner of my lips and talk across it. That would minimize any uh, mouth noise, Roger. And talk across it to minimize any uh, mouth noise, Roger. Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. Roger, Danny, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and if you get a chance, join us next Friday. That's a good, nice, nice signal. This is KC9 VKV, up to 17 minutes to 5. Uh, we uh, turned into a, a pumpkin at 5, I think that's what it was. So i uh, got uh, some time if you want to hear what your radio sounds like and uh, get a setup. Uh, we got some time. This is KC9 VKV, listening. we got some time. This is KC9 VKV. Listening. WB2 RON. I think there was an RON. Is that a Roger? Come back slowly phonetically with your call sign, please. Sure, it's Whiskey Bravo 2. Romeo Oscar November. Name is Ron. Romeo Oscar November. Located on Long Island. Roger, Roger. Uh, and uh, let's see here, what radio are you running, sir? I'm running the Anon 7000 DLE Mark II uh, into an amplifier running about 700 watts. So it's uh, the uh, Anon radio with a Behringer dynamic mic. Roger, Roger. Your dynamic range looks to be about 3 dB is uh, what we'd like it to, to be. Uh, you might uh, put just a little more top end EQ for articulation on that mic. I would say a two clicks treble boost from uh, where you are at the moment, Roger. Yes, sir. Got a nice edge now, and uh, you know when you get um, when you get up to your eyeballs in QRM and uh, uh, all that kind of stuff, uh, the more articulated the audio is, the better folks are going to be able to perceive the words. A lot of times you can hear somebody talking, but uh, if their audio is not uh, articulated in a bad situation, it's really difficult to hear what they're saying. Roger. playing around with this and I've uh, been trying to get it to sound fairly natural but uh, I noticed the same thing uh, now, you said that you have a, um, you said that you have a, um, a YouTube video that's going to be going up tomorrow uh, where can I find that in around what time 
Roger. Well, uh, we give ourselves 20, uh, 48 hours, actually, a couple of days, but a lot of times we're, you know, a day earlier than that. So uh, it'll probably be uh, tomorrow, uh, you know, uh, morning or noontime thereabout. Uh, but if we, this deal is uh, go to YouTube and do a call it a search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 1425-1421, and that will take you directly uh, to the recording. Roger. Okay, very nice. So uh, I certainly will check that out. Uh, check that out. And uh, where were you located? We're uh, just across the street from Louisville, Kentucky. We're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville. Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville. Okay, and your name? Uh, my name is Ron Romeo Waskin. November. I didn't get your name. Roger, Ron. Name here is Jim Juliet India Mike, better known in some circles as Doctor VKV. Roger. Okay, Jim, very good. All right, well, thanks for uh, the report this afternoon. Uh, you're coming in here great. And uh, my antenna is a 300-foot uh, loop up about 35 feet. So it's uh, open wire into a Johnson matchbox. And the amplifier is a EFHL 2200 running one tube, about 750 watts. Anyway, 73, thanks for the report today. Yeah, KC9VKV, WB2, RON will be clear. Roger, Roger. Now we have been copying the mail on the, uh, actually the uh, Georgia SDR uh, at the moment, uh, and just to keep in the c consideration that uh, SDRs by and large uh, tend to roll out at uh, 300 cycles uh, or thereabouts. So uh, consider the audio. We have a uh, onboard uh, spectrum analyzer that uh, has got uh, three marks on it. Mark uh, furthest to the left denotes 100 cycles. The first mark to the right is 1KC. There's a blank, uh, black blank space, which is 2KC. The next mark, a white mark, is uh, 4KC. So that's the layout of the uh, spectrum analyzer. And uh, like I say, consider that uh, I've been copying the mail on our Georgia SDR, which is trying to roll out at 300 cycles. You can see that on the um, a spectrum analyzer. There was a couple of times when I did go to my local antenna, my local receiver is flat to 100 cycles, and uh, you can see uh, a little bit more on the bottom end, but there's a lot more more noise there. Anyway, uh, 73 there, Ron. Uh, you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, Roger. Yeah, you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, Roger. Yeah, okay, Jim. Well, thanks for, thanks for that information. Okay, so uh, I'll keep that in mind that on the SDR you got to roll up for 300 hertz. Very good. So, KC9VKV, WB2RON, will be clear with you. Roger, Ron, 73. This is KC9VKV, the uh, Friday afternoon QSOV log net. If you have a radio you want to check out, we've got 10 minutes. Give me a shout. Check out. We've got 10 tuning up please try another frequency and uh, this is an active frequency uh, if you want to tune up uh, try a adjacent uh, 3kc off uh, or at least Roger 3kc off uh, or at least Roger this is KC9 VKV the Friday afternoon kiss of your lagnet if you have a radio you want to check out give me a shout afternoon kiss of your lagnet if you have a radio you want to check out give me a shout I hear a couple of stations back in there, but uh, you're very, very low. You're uh, right at uh, the noise level on my four SDRs and my local antenna, which indicates that you may have an ERP problem uh, when, uh, you know, I do not receive a local signal very well, and I don't receive that signal also very well on four internet SDRs, it means that you're not getting out very well. So you might want to try to uh, use a different antenna. I suggest a, uh, a resonant uh, half-wave dipole antenna. 
uh, might uh, be in your future that would help your ERP a great deal. Plus the fact that you can uh, solicit uh, the RF uh, going in the direction of your choosing by the way you deploy your uh, antenna, you know, the RF radiates uh, broadside to a dipole antenna. So if you want uh, to radiate north and south, uh, hang it east and west. If you hang it east and west, it'll radiate north and south. So you can use it as uh, somewhat of a directional uh, a vehicle if you choose. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon Kiss of Your Like Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kiss of Your Like Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, this is WA4ORC, Whiskey Alpha 4, Oscar, Romeo, Charlie. ORC, Roger, Roger. And uh, what is the uh, name there, ORC? ORC, Roger, Roger. And uh, what is the uh, name there, ORC? Uh, Carl, King, Abel, Roger, Love. Roger, Roger, Carl. And where are you located, sir? Roger, Roger, Carl. And where are you located, sir? Roger, South Carolina. And what radio are you running, sir? Roger, South Carolina. And what radio are you running, sir? Uh, this is a, uh, an oldie but goodie. It's a Kenwood TS-820. Kenwood TS-820, uh, manufactured in 1977. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. TS-820, uh, is that a Roger? Roger, Roger. TS-820, uh, is that a Roger? Uh, TS-820, Roger. That's what I said, a Tom uh, Security. <laughs> Tom Sierra, 820, is it Roger? <laughs> Tom Sierra, 820, is it Roger? Uh, Roger. Okay, Carl, would you be interested in our setup procedure? Yes, sir. Now, I'm assuming, would you happen to have a compressor on that radio? I'm not real sure. Do you have a compressor on that radio? Radio. I'm not real sure. Do you have a compressor on that radio? That's one of the reasons I'm giving you a call. I've got a compressor, and uh, it's very uh, I can turn it on and off, and I can... I kind of uh, slipped down into my noise level there, Carl. Um, I'm taking it that we have uh, some difficulties with the uh, compressor. Is that, a, is that a Roger? Some difficulties with the uh, compressor. Is that a, is that a Roger? Um, I'm not really sure. I've talked to some people with the compressor on and off. Uh, compressor on and off. And I've been advised to leave it off. It's currently off. Go ahead. Yes, sir, it's on at the moment. Yes, sir, it's on at the moment. Uh, off. Off. off at the moment. Okay, uh, turn it on and um, uh, watch your uh, watt meter. And just uh, don't say anything, just uh, turn it on, uh, your compressor on, and key the mic for about three seconds and watch what happens to your your watt meter. If it rises up uh, very much, uh, we don't want it. Uh, we need to adjust it down some. So uh, why don't you give me uh, three seconds of dead key and let's see where the uh, audio goes. Three seconds of dead key and let's see where the uh, audio goes. Okay, Carl, uh, what did you observe on your watt meter? Okay, Carl, uh, what did you observe on your watt meter? Hello, Carl, this is KC9VKV. Do you copy? Hello, Carl, this is KC9VKV. 
station on VKV. Do you copy? Uh, Roger, Roger. Roger, Carl, what did you observe on your wattmeter when you dead keyed? Roger, Carl, what did you observe on your wattmeter when you dead keyed? Uh, when I uh, hit the key, like dead key, and turned the compressor on, I saw the uh, meter go up. Um, and actually, it was on ALC, ALC. I didn't have it on RF. But the meter went up and then slowly went down. Go ahead. Okay, how far up did it go? Uh, halfway, quarter way, eighth of a way? Up did it go? Uh, halfway, quarter way, eighth of a way? About a, uh, a quarter. About a quarter. All right, that sounds uh, usable. Okay, uh, so keep your uh, compressor engaged. Uh, do you have an input uh, level control for that compressor, or is it just in or out? Compressor, or is it just in or out? Uh, no, it's, it'll dial from about zero to a hundred percent. I turn it on, and then I can increase it, increase the compression, and go uh, up to a hundred percent, or as much as it will compress, and or all the way down to about nothing. Uh, uh, the tilt it really limits. It really limits. But I don't know. In the old days, we used to talk about 300 to 3,000, but uh, I don't know what this does. Uh, but they say it really narrows, narrows my signal. Okay, Carl, apparently you have a 0 to 100 input uh, uh, control. So what I want you to do is set it on 30. If your input is 0 to 100, I want you to set it on 30, because we're just looking for about a third of the capabilities of that compressor. So if it's a 0 to 100, uh, set it on 30. Roger? Roger. Sure. So if it's a 0 to 100, uh, set it on 30. Roger? Uh, Roger, Roger. I'm turning it on. It is on now. And I've got it on about 30. It is on now. And Roger, Carl. Okay, the uh, thing is, uh, it uh, made a big uh, difference in your equalization. Uh, you really went thin when you put the uh, compressor on. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. That's not normally what happens when you engage a compressor. So I would uh, disengage the compressor. I think uh, uh, your, uh, your, your folks in the past are right. Uh, what happens is uh, it really gets thin when you when you engage the compressor. So it must be doing an EQ number along with the uh, compression. So just turn the compressor off. What I want you to do now with the compressor off is I want you to move to your ALC where you speak rather rapidly, 100, 200, 300. And with mic gain in hand, I want you to adjust your ALC to where it's running mid-scale to two-thirds. Mid-scale to two-thirds by way of mic gain control as you speak rather rapidly, 100, 200, 300.
Carl, uh, you've got to listen, buddy. Uh, you hit your uh, BFO. Do you, if you have a lock, I would put the lock on so you do not uh, knock yourself off frequency. Right, and the thing is, uh, w you know, we're talking back and forth here, so if you take five minutes to tell me something, it's five minutes we've lost because you were off frequency. Now, I'm assuming that you're back on frequency. I want you to give me about 10 seconds. Tell me about your antenna system so that I might hear you. Just 10 seconds, Roger. Tell me about your antenna system so that I might hear you. Just 10 seconds, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. Roger, we had bad conditions uh, for most of that, uh, um, just uh, better conditions at the last. Uh, talk to me, uh, tell me something that I don't know for about five seconds, and just let me hear you. Yeah, tell me something that I don't know for about five seconds, and just let me hear you. Yeah, Carl, we're going to have to shorten these transmissions, sir. I only need about 10 seconds, you know, any given time. I only need about 10 seconds so I can hear your, your uh, situation, you know. It's more for me to be able to listen to your quality than to, for me to get uh, information about the antenna, actually, you know. Uh, I'm just listening, trying to hear your, your technical aspects, Roger. Just listening, trying to hear your, your technical aspects, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, location here in Aiken, South Carolina. We're across the river from Augusta. Uh, about 20 miles from Augusta. Very close to the Santa River. Roger, Roger, Carl. I wish we had better uh, propagation, uh, actually, because uh, uh, you do need a little uh, work on your uh, audio equalization. It, right now, it's kind of mid-rangey. Uh, I would uh, suggest uh, that uh, maybe you uh, crank in a couple of uh, clicks. Uh, uh, bass EQ, if you have a, a three-band EQ, uh, I would... Uh, increase the uh, bass uh, uh, by two clicks from where you are. I would also increase the uh, treble EQ about two clicks from where you are. So I'd bring the top and the bottom up in reference to the mid-range. And uh, I would keep the mid-range flat. If you have a three-band EQ, always keep uh, the mids flat because the whole idea is uh, for the top to catch up to the bottom uh, to the mid-range and the bottom to uh, to balance to the mid-range and if you boost the mid-range it makes it so much harder for the top and the bottom to catch up Roger mid-range it makes it so much harder the top and the bottom to catch up Roger uh, Roger Roger um, I'm not sure how much uh, video yeah. has to do that um, uh, Rick is old Roger, Roger. Well, gosh, uh, man, it's uh, five after five, and I got to get out of here. But uh, maybe we can get together uh, next week, next Friday. Hopefully, we'll have uh, better uh, propagation, and I can hear your audio a, a lot better. And now, what happens is, uh, you know, we have a spectrum analyzer on the uh, set, but uh, when uh, we get a lot of noise. Uh, uh, with the audio signal, uh, the spectrum analyzer reads whatever's there, so a lot of times it's reading more noise than voice. So, but maybe next uh, Friday we'll have uh, better conditions. Uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. In, in, in between time, 
if you want to hear what your audio sounds like. If you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by today's date 51421, that will take you uh, to this recording and uh, give us a couple of days to get it uploaded. We'll probably get it uploaded sooner than that, but uh, two days outside. Roger. Get it uploaded sooner than that, but uh, two days outside. Roger. A uh, YouTube search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by today's date 5 14 21. YouTube search KC9 VKV, followed by today's date 5 14 21, will take you to this recording. Roger. Today's date 5 14 21 will take you to this recording. Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. Thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Uh, I've heard you on before, but I'll give you a call uh, next time I hear you, especially if the bands or conditions are better. 73, and thank you so much for what you do. Uh, a lot of these modern rigs uh, that I hear on the air, like these 7300, they're infinitely programmable, which is all the good and bad that that Thanks a lot. Uh, 73. Roger, Roger, Carl. Uh, we are uh, on every Friday afternoon from 3.30 till 5 on this frequency, 7188. Every Friday afternoon, 3.30 till 5. 73, sir, and you have a great afternoon and a beautiful weekend. And with that, uh, we will uh, conclude our transmissions for today. Hopefully, uh, if you participated, want to hear your audio. Again, if you go to YouTube and do a call and a search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 51421, will take you directly to this recording. And with that, we will be returning this frequency back to a normal amateur radio use. This is KC9VKV Clear.